Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game. And this is my latest deck experiment where I take a fun, interesting, crazy idea for a deck, build it live on the spot, and then take it out onto the ranked ladder to see it in action. This time around, I will be building a Death Rattle Hunter deck, which is something I haven't seen a lot of people try yet in the Journey to Unguro meta. So let's go ahead and jump into the deck building process as recorded live on my Twitch stream. But this is the Death Rattle Hunter, which is the first of the deck experiments uh, that I want to try today, and mainly because we got a new Death Rattle card in Journey to a Girl with the Terror Scale Stalker, but I haven't really seen anybody play this card yet. I, well, actually, I saw it to this morning while doing some quests. Somebody played this against me, and I was, like, totally stunned. But it's the first time I've seen it, and I haven't seen any, like, popular deck lists or, you know, anybody really try this. So I want to give it a shot to see if I can make essentially a Terror Scale Death Rattle Hunter work, because th this is not the only Death Rattle card that Hunter has received lately. Uh, they've gotten some of the past expansions, too, that never really seemed to work. I mean, it started, I guess, really with Princess Huharan, uh, which is essentially this card, but a legendary version that costs way more. So that didn't quite make the cut, even though a lot of people thought it would be strong. But it seems like Terra Scale Soccer could actually be really good, because the fact that you can do this battle cry earlier in the game than Princess Huharan allowed is really, really good, because it's just more impactful the earlier it happens. Plus, this is the kind of card that even though it's cheap, if you top deck it later on, and you have some good Death Rattles on the board, you'd think this card could get you some value. So we're clearly going to start off with the Terror Scale Stalker to kick things off and uh, see how we can go from there. Oh my goodness, a lot of people commented while I said that tiny little bit of text. <laughs> uh, let's see, Taunt Warrior is what Suck McCorn is playing. Well, I don't have a lot of advice for Taunt Warrior unless you watch my video on YouTube. I did post a video for the top five tips for playing Taunt Warrior. If you haven't seen that one yet, go check that out on my YouTube channel. It might give you some insights into fixing your play a little bit. Fran Messi says hi. Well, hello, Fran Messi. <laughs> Reach a squad. <laughs> um, any tips for Plant Rogue? By the way, love your content, says ASF Nexus. Well, first off, appreciate the kind words. Nexus, and uh, I don't really know, I haven't played a ton of Plant Rogue, Miracle Rogue, I mean I did do a video on it, uh, but I haven't played enough that I, I think I'm confident to give out tips, um, I don't know, maybe just save up more than you think for Auctioneer turns, That'd be my best advice, like be willing to catch up and make comebacks as opposed to trying to stay ahead all the time. Because that's kind of a comeback deck in many ways. I'm part of the Reaches squad, says Hunter. Hello there, K Reku. Tevani, the smork is strong with this one. Well, we'll see if we smork in this deck. I don't know. Do you still get Tyronda from Twitch Prime? I don't know the answer to that. It looks like K Reku says no. Uh, I have Twitch Prime, and I don't think I got Tyronda. Or I guess I have Amazon Prime. I don't really know how it works, but we'll see. So what have I missed, asks Oscar. Well, very much nothing, Oscar. I just started streaming seven minutes ago and just kicked off this deck, and so far it's been all chat. Killer Meme Star says, sup, Regis. Right back at you, Killer. What's up, dude? How's it going? Any tips against those pesky Miracle Rogues? So we're getting tips for Miracle Rogues and tips against Miracle Rogues. They are stopping me from going to Legend. Um, Miracle Rogue is, is a deck that's very hard to play around. You just kind of have to get out on the board and pressure them uh, so that they don't have time to do their stuff. Maybe ignore Sherazen if that's something you're doing. Like You sometimes just got to let it sit there and do its thing. You don't try to like trade into its stuff. Force them to be active with the card. Those kinds of things. 14-2 and two with Murloc Shaman, says Fallen Child Hearthstone. That's crazy, dude. I'm actually surprised by that. I didn't think that deck was that strong at the end of the day, but sounds like it's going really well for you. Hey, Elsta. Uh, hey, Usi Brothers. I'm, that's a new name, it sounds like, Usi. So welcome to the channel here. If I, if I missed you in the past, I'm sorry, but uh, happy to have you here. JTay14 says, Hi, Regis. I love your YouTube channel, and I finally caught one of your streams. Well, welcome, dude. I hope you enjoy Twitch, too. It's, it's pretty fun, usually. So I'm uh, happy to have you here. Oh, you guys are going fast today for only 38 people. I, I just can't keep up, guys. I'm going to jump back into this deck real fast, and I'll, I'll try to read some more. But uh, So Terra Scale Stalker, obviously kind of the inspiration for this deck experiment, the card we want to test to see if this somehow enables Death Rattle Hunter to be a success, right? So we have to fill in the pieces around this. And, and most notably, I mean, Hunter right now is successful in a mid-range style, 
And I think probably with these Death Rattles, that's kind of how we're going to tend with this deck too. But Nazoth, of course, is a pretty enticing card. So we might have to skew just a little bit more towards control with our Death Rattle Hunter. The thing is, though, the real advantage of this card is that it works nicely on early game minions because it's a three drop. So if you have early game Death Rattles, you can really do a lot with Terra Scale Soccer. So I think really it's going to feel like a mid-range deck that has a lot of early game um, and just a little bit of late game, mainly just Nazoth, so that like if we do Peter out in a mid-range style and play against a control deck, Nazoth essentially gives us like a final outlet, a final chance to make a comeback and win the game. So what we need to do, of course, is just go in and, and first things first, Early game Death Rattle minions that are board based are going to be very significant in this deck. So, even like Fiery Bat, not the best Death Rattle to activate with Terra Scale Soccer because it's just a random ping, but still, it gives us something to play on curve and, and some kind of action to take with our Death Rattles. Raptor Hatchling, I don't actually know that this one's good. I don't know that we want to summon or shuffle a 4 3 into our deck. That might just break up the consistency of our deck since we're not like a super hyper aggressive deck like a marsh queen style deck with raptor hatchling i don't think we actually want that i think i'm gonna run crackling razor ball just because it's such a good card it has nothing to do with death rattles necessarily but just an awesome card to have kindly grandmother's fantastic for terror scale stalker that's exactly the kind of card we want to have so that's an instant easy inclusion as far as i'm concerned uh we'll probably run animal companions just because they're so good uh, we might even run uh, Kill Commands. And by the way, these are not all necessarily final cards in my list. I'm probably going to pull back on some of these and cut cards. Rat Pack is perfect, too, for what we want to do. Nice Death Rattle. Honestly, even Shaky Zip Gunner might be decent. It's a little bit slow, because it takes a while for that buff to essentially hit the board. But I'll throw it in for now, since it is a cheap Death Rattle, and that's really what I'm, I'm looking for to start. Infested Wolf's pretty good as a Death Rattle minion. Uh, we, we could actually toss in a Princess Huron just as a second sort of addition to our Terror Scale Stalker game plan. Like, she's clearly not as good as Terror Scale Stalker, which is sad because she's a legendary minion. But uh, that doesn't mean she would not fit the deck, right? Like, she's just a worse version of a new card that was released. But she still might be fitting. So we'll toss her in for now, see how it goes. Uh, High Main is perfect for a mid-range body, but also obviously a fantastic death rattle for what our deck is trying to accomplish. And I think that'll be it for the Hunter Death Rattles. So now let's let's check out the Neutral Death Rattles as well as we hop back into chat. And see what you guys are up to. My God, you guys are flying today. I love it. 39 people just chatting, chatting away. Uh, in this deck, I recommend no secrets and mostly Death Rattles. Yep, I won't be running any secrets. I don't think that doesn't make sense to me either. Uh, Uzurpator Uzup, uh, says, Regis, can you play Miracle Rogue in this stream? Because I have it in... Uh, rank four only well i'm not gonna be playing it today and frankly if you're already rank four with miracle rogue i don't know that i'd be able to help you that much i mean it's probably a deck i could play to legend but it, i'd need 20 or 30 games at least to practice it and really get a feel for it because i haven't been playing it that much either so you're you're higher you're playing miracle rogue right now higher than i have this season with the new miracle rogue. so in other words you're ahead of me <laughs> as far as that particular deck is concerned. So I, I I couldn't help you much right now. I'm sorry. Uh, planning on doing an expensive hand lock deck soon, asked Oscar. Uh, no, I did a sort of a Reno-less Reno lock lately. I think that's probably the last... I think you were here for that probably even. Uh, probably the last uh, Warlock deck for me for a while, at least a control version. Uh, maybe a Barnes, says the Secret Army one. Yeah, I like that idea. That'd be pretty good in this deck with all these Death Rattles. I'll have to keep that in mind. Remind me if I forget Barnes. Uh, I don't know that he'd make the cut for sure, but it makes a lot of sense in what we're trying to do. Uh, would a Taunt Cthulhu Warrior work? Yeah, I like that idea, Tevani. I, I really like Cthulhu Warrior from the old days. I think I've even seen somebody already try that out, sort of... Uh, successfully already. So maybe, maybe Google around for some deck lists that are Taunt Cthulhu Warrior, because... I feel like somebody made that. It was halfway decent. Uh, Louisiana French, uh, UZ, is actually Yusei. So the Yusei brothers. Got it. I'll try to remember that. Forgive me if I get it wrong again, but um, just just reprimand me if I fail to pronounce that correctly. I'll happily adjust over time. Hey, Regis, how are you? Asks Ozrock, as I'm going to call you. <laughs> I hit Legendary for the first time yesterday. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. It's fantastic. I love when people are hitting Legend for the first time. It's more success for everybody, man. That's really cool. 
hopefully I helped you at least a little bit along the way. That would make me very happy to know. So yeah, you're definitely showing your happiness, dude. That's cool. Uh, Regis, you should include Forlorn Stalker, which is an Old God's hand buff card. Yeah, I think we will. It's a good good little death rattle. I'm going to jump back through. I don't know how I missed it, but I just have it filtered to... I thought we would have already picked it up. Maybe I missed it. This is definitely a card I want to run. So yeah, thanks for the reminder. I guess I just skipped over it, but... Definitely death rattle synergy card, which I like. We'll see if it works, but I don't know. I like trying it. Uh, Regis is streaming. Yay, says MBS. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the kind words. Regis says Dark Pentagram. Dark Pentagram! Exclamation mark. I'll throw it right back at you. If you trigger a death rattle, is the death rattle gone or triggered again at death? It's it's triggered again, so it's it's uh, you get it twice, basically, which is the whole point, right? It's kind of double the value. Mistress of Mixture is not a bad idea, actually, if we do a little bit of control. It's a little risky, though, in Hunter, where we do still uh, value our hero power as a thing that could kill people, so we'll see. Sup, Regis says Dillapus. Which other neutral legendaries would you recommend? Um, well, I posted a video today that had quite a few neutral legendaries in it. Uh, but there's a lot of good neutral legendaries to craft these days, guys. So I'm not going to go through that right now. But check out my list on YouTube I posted today. If you need extra recommendations, hit me up in a message and I'll, or Twitter or something, and I'll happy, happily offer some more. Uh, up to 50 viewers, by the way, guys. That's awesome. Thanks for stopping by. Happy to have you here. A lonely guy on Twitch says, hey, I unpacked Nat Pagel in my Tavern Brawl reward. Should I keep him or dust him for a quest? Uh, probably dust him, honestly. Nat Pagel's never, as far as I can tell, going to be a, a good card, unfortunately. He was back in the day a long, long time ago, but that was before some changes were made and stuff. So, uh, Any ideas for deck? Uh, for a player with a mediocre card collection and 3.5k and dust, says the elegant gamer i think mid-range hunter is probably your best bet right now it seems to be the cheapest of the top tier decks or at least tier one or two decks uh, pirate warrior would also be pretty reasonable if you like that kind of thing um okay so caught up guys finally caught up to you you guys so let's go back to neutral death rattle minions actually loot hoarders make a lot of sense i think just because card draw is going to be important for us like to uh, to some extent, we don't need a ton necessarily, but at least a little. Man, looking at this curve, like you know, I'm already going to cut kill commands. <laughs> like uh, they're good. You need removal, but this, there's so many three drops and stuff. Uh, Devil's or egg is cool if it works. It could be amazing with Terra Scale Stalker. It's the kind of thing that's likely to live too. But uh, it's just is is it good with anything else we do? You know what I mean? Like it's not. It would be amazing with Forlorn Stalker, I guess too. It's kind of intriguing. Crackling Razor Maw only works on the second half of it, not the first half. I just want to make sure there's multiple ways to activate this minion, you know. I don't want it to just sit out there always. And if I don't draw Forlorn Stalker or exactly, you know, um, that or Terror Scale, there's no way to play it. Like, that seems pretty risky. I don't want to have to rely on that. Uh, Twilight Summoner, a very similar card to Devil's War Egg in that regard. Doesn't pop out a beast, though, so I wonder if it's not quite as good. I'm going to go ahead and toss in the Nazoth. I think that's right. But I think we're basically going to have a gap here. I think we're going to go from Savannah High Main to Nazoth and nothing after that. Because, uh, like I said, I, this is really more of a mid-range deck, I think, than a control deck. And I want Nazoth to just be that last resort, kind of, this is how I'm going to win the game. If we didn't win it with just board value in the early to mid-game, you know. So sort of a, a finisher a win condition on top of the rest of the deck. Sort of an extra thing to do. I think I'll go ahead and add in the Deadly Shots. These are just so strong, especially against like Taunt Warrior and stuff where you need to kill one big taunt sometimes. But again, that's so many three drops, my god. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to cut something like Shaky Zip Gunner. This might just be too slow. It doesn't do enough instantly. Like... You know, even if we got the trigger off, like, it's still going to take multiple turns for it to pay off. I, th I think we have to cut this and look for a little bit more early game. Like, a couple more one drops would be good, and a couple more four drops would be really good, too. Just have a lot of stuff happening at three. I mean, Deadly Shot and Kill Command aren't really three drops in the traditional sense, so that's probably really, like, an eight instead of a 12 when you look at the curve, because these are about doing other things. They're basically removal or damage more than they are um, actual 
three mana plays. You don't usually want to play those on three. I think Houndmaster's still a good card in this deck. We just have so many beasts and a lot of sticky beasts at that. So that's, I think this is still a smart inclusion, even though it's not like a Death Rattle or Death Rattle Synergy kind of card. I still like it. It's still going to work for us. Another 4-drop wouldn't hurt. And maybe another 1-drop. I think we need more 1-drops, actually. We could toss in Alley Cats, maybe just Jeweled Macaws. I know they're not Death Rattle cards, but they give us beasts, which can be Death Rattles. They just give us resources. They give me Crackling Razor Maul plays. These, these give me things to do at the start of the game, essentially, which we need. And again, Raptor Hatchling would make a lot of sense as a card that fit, but it's not board-based, it's, it's value-based, and, and frankly, shuffling that into my deck might mean that I don't draw an Azoth. I think this is meant specifically for Marsh Queen, and I just it's not going to fit for me. I want to be able to do more. Are there any neutral one-drops that really fit what we're trying to accomplish here? There's like Lepernome, which is a Death Rattle minion. There's Mistress of Mixture somebody tossed out. But I think I think this is too risky. Like, Hunter does want to win the game. Like, we don't want to heal our opponent. We can do Kill Command stuff, Hero Power stuff. We have a lot of minions that do damage. Uh, big damage with, like, high mains and everything. So I don't think I want to risk that. So I think that's a pass. Thalmos doesn't really make sense. I've kind of conveniently gotten 30 cards here accidentally. Like, I just ended up at this spot. So there's a lot of mid-range hunter stuff happening here, but there's also a lot of death rattle synergy stuff happening here, but it, it really feels close to good. I'm not sure I want to make any changes. Oh, Barnes was one thing we wanted to toss in, maybe. Barnes. I kind of want to cut Princess Hooveron for Barnes. Or maybe cut a 3-drop for Barnes. Like, perhaps we could cut... Animal Companions are good, but they don't necessarily do what we want to do, and we have so many other 3-drop plays. Maybe we just cut that for Barnes. Barnes is a great idea. So many death rattles. Barnes is very likely to get value. Almost guaranteed. Aha! That flattens me out a little bit. I like that. I like this change. That was one good change. Let's see. Let's see what chat has to say. Thalnos, Cairn are being tossed out. Both good death rattle minions. Uh, I don't think we need Cairn. We have the high mains already to kind of be Cairn. I think having three cards like that would be a little bit too slow. Thalnos, I mean, he's just a good little value guy, but we don't really need the spell damage in this deck, so Loot Hoarders kind of do more than Thalnos. I mean, Thalnos is an amazing card, don't get me wrong. I think, as you might have seen in my video today on YouTube, the best card to craft in Hearthstone right now, in fact, still. Even though he's not super popular, still. But I don't know that he fits here, just because the card draws good, but the spell damage is almost irrelevant. We have one spell that we're going to cast, so I think there's probably better better options to run in this slot, you know. Might even run a spell here instead of, like, a minion that's Death Rattle oriented. But another Death Rattle would be good. What other two? Let's look and see. Volatile Elemental. It's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> like, it, it essentially turns your Terror Scale Stalker into, like, a Fire Elemental, right? You could trigger this and do three damage to the opponent's board. That's, that's kind of a cool idea. I don't hate that. This is the kind of a cool card, too. Like, Zealous Initiate could work. Backstreet Lepers may be good in Hunter. Maybe we run one Devil's Sore Egg. It's another three drop is a problem, but... I kind of like the idea of the, the uh, Devil Sore hitting. That could be such a sick combo. But the problem is, do we ever actually activate the Egg? Not really. So, I guess we got to It'd be great with Barnes. Houndmaster doesn't work on it. I think it's going to be dead. I don't think I can do that. Let's see what else chat has to say. The Elegant Gamer says, Finally get to watch your streams. I really got into your channel with your budget Old Gods decks and really love your personality. Oh, thanks so much, Elegant. That's such a nice thing to say. Appreciate it. <laughs> bomb Squad Princess Combo. Yeah, Bomb Squad is not what we're trying to do, as you realize. Oh, uh, some dude. Hilarious recommendation. Thanks for that. Um, let's see... Why run Princess as Tevana? I, I don't know that it's right. I might still cut Princess. I mean, it's clearly a worse version of Terror Scale Stalker, but that doesn't make it bad. It just means it's less good than the other card, and it still does what the deck is trying to do. We've, we've seen it fail in the past, but that might have been a consistency issue, not like a raw power issue. So if we have enough stuff in the deck to enable this at a successful rate, then maybe it's still good. And I kind of want to test it, right? Like, it kind of got left behind... Maybe it finally got good just because of the additional synergies here. Defender of Argus, I like that suggestion a lot, actually. It would make the um, Devil's Sword Egg in particular considerably better. But I kind of want to run, like, Twilight Summoner as well. I don't know. 
Defender of Argus, though, is good with Death Rattle stuff, too, just because it forces your opponents to react. And, and it's the kind of card I always just like to have in a deck, honestly. There's just something good about Defender of Argus. Plus, with all the sticky minions we have around, that makes a lot of sense, too. I, I like that suggestion. Who tossed, who tossed out the Secret Army one? Good idea there. Volatile Elemento asked Mimo Kato. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I think you probably suggested that before I ran through it a second ago, but I think it does have some merits. It's, it's potential. Mistress slower deck might need it. I don't know if that's true if we're a slower deck. I mean, we're a little slow, but we have a lot of one drops and two drops. I don't think we're going to fall too far behind in this meta. I think we'll be all right. Weasel Tunnel Art, not the worst idea, honestly. It's a beast. It's a death rattle. Like, I kind of like it. It's not bad. Hey, Regis, guess what? I got my second legendary ever in Unguro, and it was a second Elise. Now I have one Elise. And 400 total arcane dust rip, says Sir Karsten. I'm sorry that you got a duplicate legendary dude. That's no fun. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is sort of a 400 arcane dust bonus, right? You don't have to think about it as a lost opportunity. You can just think of it as an arcane dust windfall and go craft yourself a really cool epic, right? So, Harvest Golem, Infested Tauren, all good good ideas, guys. Devil's Sword Egg into Houndmaster doesn't actually work. The egg itself is, is uh, not a beast, so Houndmaster has to be a beast. If it was a beast, that would be amazing. I, I Roll that all the way. The Devil Sword that pops out is a beast, but I don't know that it's going to pop out all that often. Like, we have some ways to get the Devil Sword out, but the actual egg may never break in this deck, right? It's going to be really hard. Like, Barnes trying to get into a 1-1 could. Defender of Argus can activate it. Uh, even Crackling Razor Maul won't activate it. There's just not that much to activate it. So I'm hesitant to run it. I like the idea, but we'll see. Uh, Moat Lurker? Yeah, Moat Lurker's probably not a bad idea. I don't know, though, that I want to, like, hide a high main for a turn. You know what I mean? Like, that's The idea with Moat Lurker is, like, if the Death Rattle is the primary benefit of the minion. In other words, like, for instance, um... For instance, like, Twilight Summoner... The first half of the minion sucks, and the Death Rattle's way better. Like, all the value here is in the Death Rattle, which is really good with cards like Moat Lurker. Because you essentially, you know, you kill this thing, hide it, and you get the real the thing you really want, which is the Death Rattle. With cards like High Main, that's not really the case. Infested Wolf, that's not really the case. Rat Pack, that's not really the case, right? Uh, only really Kindly Grandmother is better on the second half. It's better in the Death Rattle. Most of these hunter cards, like, the first half is still the best part of the minion, and the Death Rattle is sort of a secondary bo benefit, a bonus, right? So I don't know that Moat Lurker is, is going to be perfect for what I want to do. Like, in other words, you know, if we did it to a high main, we'd, we'd give up a 6-5 minion for a little while, and then we'd eventually get a 6-5 minion back, but I think we want to apply more pressure than that and be more consistent in our board than what Moat Lurker is about. So, you know, cards like Sylvanas, this thing is really crazy cool, but... I'm not sure it works. Uh, using it as a pseudo removal option. Now that is a uh, somebody suggested that that makes a little bit more sense. It's sort of a an extra deadly shot, right? Like we can use this to to deal with our opponent and slow them down. I don't hate that idea. I don't. I'm assuming that the activation of Terror Scale Stalker does work successfully with Moat Lurker. I'm kind of getting sold on this, except for the fact that our curve will be hampered by it i'm afraid like i think we need to keep what we have right now i just don't want to get too slow on the deck but how about a cult master for some card draw it's not a bad idea with all these death rattles that we're probably going to be sacrificing to some extent i don't know i mean our curve is not so low that we might need that much card draw we do have the loot hoarders already I have a feeling we're just going to be okay because we're a little bit slow enough. Like, we're mid-rangey enough that unless we just get all the one-drops right off the bat. Between Jeweled McCall and Loot Order, I think that's okay. Plus, I really like uh, Cult Master better with Unleash the Hound, so. You guys are pop popping out a lot of great suggestions, by the way, so thank you for that. That's really awesome. It's fun to collectively build a deck and discuss it and talk through it. It really helps me uh, explain why I'm making decisions, too, which is awesome.
<laughs> Lupito620 says, in two hours, I'm going to eSports Arena. Dalaran card back within my grasp. Grass, dude. The Dalaran Flame card back is awesome. I don't have it. And it's definitely one of the best. Uh, Fran Messi says, hey, Regis, I just saved up 1,600 dust. Well, congratulations on that, first off. And I was wondering if I should craft the new Elise, Lyra, or the Warrior Quest. Well, I think Elise is probably going to give you the most long-term... Uh, broad value as far as like you can use her in multiple classes and a variety of decks. Basically, any controller mid range deck, you could probably slaughter in there and it'd be fine. She may not be the best card in the list, but she'll do some work. Uh, but Lyra or the Warrior Quest, obviously, you're going to narrow you into that kind of deck, right? Uh, but that said, Lyra is probably the most fun card in Hearthstone right now, so if you care about that, maybe you give Lyra the edge, otherwise, Elise. Or if you just want a really consistent deck, Taunt Warrior seems good too. So they're all good choices. It's just about what you want to do, right? If you're just trying to make your collection better, go for Elise. If you want to have fun with a good deck, go for Lyra. If you want to have a very, very reliable deck that's strong, maybe Warrior Quest. But you really can't go wrong uh, with any of those. Uh, Cyanobear uh -huh. says, Regis Kilbin, what's your highest Hearthstone rank attained? About 250, 240-something, I think. Legend. So... I don't know. Not not super high legend, but good enough for me. P fairly happy with that. Uh, OMG was going to lose a game, but my opponent thought it was a good idea to keep my Tundra Rhino alive. That's a must-kill minion almost all the time, definitely. <clears throat> Hunter Oliveira says, This deck seems to be missing something, maybe a 10-mana 714 beast. It's definitely not missing an Ultrasaur. At all. I, I definitely know that one thing for sure. <laughs> Everybody wants me to put in a weasel. But that's not going to happen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the Beast is also a bad suggestion. But I uh, appreciate it, guys. Uh, Bruno Calasans says, Hello, hello, Regis. Well, hello, hello, right back at you, Bruno. Happy to have you here, dude. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I actually think this is my list. I got a couple people asking me to cut this off, but like I said, I actually want this as that sort of last resort card. I think that's really important to give our deck a second wind. We won't draw it every game when we need to. Occasionally it'll be a little bit dead in our hand, but we should have a consistent enough curve to power through that to some extent. I mean, I think it's okay. And ultimately, if you're building a Death Rattle deck like this, I mean, come on. You gotta include Nazoth for fun, if nothing else, I think. Like, it's just, it's just mandatory that you run it. Just because it's enjoyable. Uh, so, I mean, I think there are some gaps here. We could probably tighten this list a little bit. Maybe cut Hoover on. I'm not sure she's perfect. If, you, if I did, I'd probably add in a second Defender of Argus. But I, I do want to test her, and I do think she's okay. At the end of the day, a 6-5 body is something annoying for opponents to deal with on turn 5. And if the activation does go through, it could be very, very strong. So, we'll see. I think the fact that we have a card like Terror Scale Stalker makes it more likely that Huron's going to go off, just because this means we're going to get more consistent extra sticky bodies and stuff. And uh, that said, I don't know, I think this is my list. I think this is my first take on a Death Rattle Hunter. It's pretty much just the mid-range shell that we know and love right now from Hunter, but with extra Death Rattle pieces stuffed in the place of some of the more consistent minions that you typically see in uh, mid-range Hunter. So let's, let's see if it works. I don't know. At the end of the day, that's the best way to figure it out, right? Test the deck. Play it and see how it goes. So, um, not surprisingly, I'm stuck at rank 5, as always, because I am playing way too many deck experiments, <laughs> way too many budget decks, but there's really no better place to, to test decks, I think. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people watching are probably thinking about rank 5 right now themselves, looking at rank 5 on the uh, play menu, so... Yeah, that game is laggy. What's going on? Sometimes that's a sign that my computer is laggy. But my computer feels fine. Oh, there we go. It sorted itself out. Deck Tracker Regis. Great suggestion, Hunter Oliveira. <laughs> we'll get that around next time. I'm going to put a post-it note on my screen right now. I use post-it notes for work regularly to remind myself of things. I'm going to put this right on the top so I can't see my opponent's face. Actually, I'll put it this way. This is the Deck Tracker reminder. It probably won't work. It probably won't help at all, but by God, we're going we're gonna to try I guess I'll go ahead and keep this. I I don't know the mulligans for this deck, right? This is the first game I've ever played, but if it's our power card, if it's what we're trying to do and build this deck around, it kind of makes sense, especially since we do have a two-drop in hand. I think we want to see a two-drop, or a one-drop, maybe, you know, mulliganing 
for a one-drop is the right answer, just hard mulligan for a one-drop, maybe keep a two-drop. But we only had, I think, four one-drops, so it's not like a guarantee that we're going to hit one. This is a fine thing to trade into that. This is obviously a Murloc Paladin. The, the only problem is I think that with this battle cry, we really do want a more board-based death rattle than what Loot Order provides. So not the perfect two-drop for Terror Scale Soccer. I'd rather have the Kindly Grandmother or whatever. That is a great opener. Jeez, Louise. This is so sick. Like, you can see... Oh, that's actually a great draw. I didn't want to have to play this for free, basically. Um... It didn't, like, there was no, like, graphic there. I feel like we should have got the graphic, like, the hand buff cards, but it didn't happen. But it worked. It went through, as you can see. This this 1-2, though, is exactly like Tunnel Trog into Totem Golem. It's not quite as strong, right? But you can see that basically any deck with a good 1-2-3 like that is going to be a dominant force on the ladder. Like, it's just already taking over Merlite Paladin. I think... I think Blizzard actually needs to design around that a little bit. It's just one, two, three is basically winning the game far too often. This is fine. We'll just play on curve. Like, this guy hasn't gotten any value yet, but we can maybe uh, two into three next turn. We just need to make sure we don't die, right? Like, we're falling behind a little bit here. Not trading. He's going face. So if we can stabilize here... I assume this is going to get interrupted and won't get to attack. Either way, it doesn't really matter what I do first, I don't think. So I'll just go ahead and activate this to get some bodies on the board here, and we'll loot order too. I mean, a 3-3 three, three that summons a 2-1-1, one, 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 it's not a bad card really, right? Like, that's okay. Maybe not the best result ever. The question is, can we live long enough to take advantage of this? And I don't know the answer to that. We'll see. Looks like he's starting to trade a little bit or think about it. It's a good sign. We got Consecration hitting us in the face. I didn't even know they ran Consecration, to tell you the truth. That's pretty brutal. I'm not sure I'll have time to high man. I think I might have to Infested Wolf and uh, Crackling Razor Maul. The high main, I just take six damage again. I can maybe taunt the infested wolf here. It's a terrible trade, but uh, I'm afraid I'm dead if I don't. None of these are really that helpful. Um, I guess we'll go Wind Fury and hope that he considers it a threat that I have to deal with, but I think probably we're just dead to like War Leader, War Leader or something. We're taking so much damage. What about Spirit Singer Umbra? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I missed that suggestion, but that's a neat idea, too. I totally didn't consider that at all. Okay, so I'm alive. I think that gives me hope, right? I could Deadly Shot Barnes. I don't think we have any taunts or anything, but... What's what's the death rattle on this? Oh, no. A Stegodon, dude. That's annoying. Thankfully, we can't kill it. Uh, but Barnes is the play. Has to be the play. Goodness. So now I somehow have to have to win with one health? Doesn't seem likely. I don't know that he has... I mean, Bluegill Warrior, I guess. Another Consecration, weapons. There's probably a lot of stuff that kills me. But it may not be there right now. We might have a little bit of time. Oh, if we can taunt this high main, that gives us some outs. I guess we'll go for it. We can deal with the board anyway, so. Taunt, 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 taunt. Yeah, let's do it. We're stabilizing, guys. Uh, I'll go ahead and kill this one off. If, if he consecrations, we, we literally lose anyway, so it doesn't really matter how many 1-1s one we have out. It's kind of funny that <laughs> he only gets one. In, it, you know, it defaults to two normally, but the, uh, the wording obviously does make it, in fact, just one. That's a little problematic. Uh, that makes it less problematic, though. I can deal with that. I don't guess it really matters here. We're, we're not going to be able to attack twice with that anyway. So now we kind of have to, like, win the game before he kills me with the, uh, the weapon, right? Which might actually be possible here. 
Oh, I messed up. I had a buff tie main. I should have actually taunted the buff tie main. I didn't even realize that, guys. Wow. That must have been in hand when we played the Forlorn Stalker. I didn't even know. This That could have been a 6 health high main. That would make a big difference, too, honestly. Um, that's probably an issue, but I think he's still just dead. Yeah, he's definitely dead now. Oh my gosh, we're going to win this game. It's the craziest thing ever. I, I think. I haven't actually done the math yet, but surely he's dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. Wow! Wow! <laughs> I, we stabilized at one health. That's crazy. Uh, we actually misplayed too. I didn't even know this was buffed. Having a six health one would have made a huge difference because the weapon wouldn't have killed it. There was a chance that cost me the game, but if you summon a death rattle minion with Barnes, does it get uh, resummoned by Nazoth with its original stats? The answer to that question, I think, is yes. Where's Karen? I think Karen's too slow. While you pronounce my name right, I'm Brazilian and people here get it wrong. Nice one, Regis, says Bruno. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't remember how I said it, so now I'm really nervous that I would inadvertently say it wrong if I try it again, Bruno. So I'm just going to say your first name. But Hunt, Hunter, I think, who's also perhaps Portuguese or Brazilian, but, you know, same pronunciation, presumably, said I pronounced his name correctly, too. So I must be fairly good at pronouncing Portuguese names for some reason or another, despite having zero experience pronouncing Portuguese names. So, appreciate that feedback. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yep. Deck Tracker. Ah, I see the post-it note. <laughs> K-Riku says, let's just accept that he'll activate the Deck Tracker in the last th <laughs> in the last 30 minutes of the stream. That's exactly exactly correct, sir. I'm glad you know it. <laughs> I'm glad you've accepted your fate, K-Riku. Uh, the Killing Machine XX says, what do you do for work? I am a director of marketing for a software development company. We basically make custom websites for people. So I find the people that we make the websites for and help them utilize them and help develop features for those websites. Uh, yeah, I think this is just a totally fine play. We'll go ahead and get the, the Razor Mile. We might get something really cool here. Uh, honestly, Wind Fury is probably fine. Poisonous could be really good if it's Taunt wearer, but he didn't play anything. He didn't play the quest, so he might have mulliganed away the quest and still be taunt. But uh, at the end of the day, we do need to do damage to this guy. And uh, even if it's on turn two, if he plays, like, Dirty Rat, it could be an issue killing it. But that means he's going to summon at least one of these minions that will help me kill it. So I'm going to go ahead and just go for Wind Fury, I think. I think there's a good chance it's just going to die to Fire War Axe. It's kind of part of my logic. So Poisonous doesn't help, so... Two extra damage might be more relevant than poisonous. To a minion that's going to die to fire wax anyway, right? That's Dirty Rat, I think, based on the way he's deciding to play it or not. No, it's Pirates, so never mind. Wind Fury is the perfect call. Uh -huh. That's the best choice. All right, seeing as I now have the dust for a quest, which one would you recommend? It doesn't really matter what class. Uh, Rogue or Warrior seem to have the best quest decks, so I guess I'd recommend those. Uh, we check. What check? Says, uh, I'm a bit late. What is this deck? This is me testing a Death Rattle Hunter. I think we can go ahead and Forlorn Stalker, right? It leaves four health on the board, and he'd only have two damage on the board, so he'd have to choose to kill either the Crackling Razor Maw or the Stalker. Uh, so, I think I'll just play the Forlorn Stalker. This gets good. This gets good. Uh, next turn, though, I may just Houndmaster if the Razor Maul survives. And I'm actually going to attack face with the Razor Maul just so it might actually survive. Because he may want to use, like, his weapon and one minion to kill the Stalker. Since it's the higher damage minion, which means that there's a chance the Razor Maul survives. If I trade it into one of these... Uh, in order to set up like a value trade, he'd probably just use the weapon on the Razor Maw and kill it. And therefore, uh, instead he's going to actually get to kill both, thanks to the cultist. But still, I think a line of play that made the most sense at a top level. Um, I guess I'm going to play the Infested Wolf here, even though, honestly, the Rat Pack is sort of the same card right now. In fact, a little bit better. But it's cheaper, so I might be able to play it like next turn, for instance, in combination with a grandmother. So just for curve considerations, I kind of like the Infested Wolf better. 
Uh, even if he does use his weapon and that minion to trade into this, I'll probably have a 1-1 alive, which means I might Houndmaster, but I might still play both of these. In any case, I'm just playing for curve considerations. You need to create new strategies to remember the deck tracker. No doubt about that, Hunter. That's a that's true. I'm really bad at stuff like that. I get so focused on just rolling with the rolling with the game and, and just playing and keeping the entertainment flying. Oh, that's a great draw, because now we can curve out with this Houndmaster, and I, I actually might just go face as opposed to trading into these minions. Like, There's two, so removing a pirate is not actually a possibility. Plus, we're just going to put him so low that we can just win the game eventually, I think. We're just kind of in a race at this point that we might actually win once against um, Pirate Warrior. Let's go ahead and draw first just to see what we get here. It's not a great minion, but whatever. And we will definitely taunt the uh, the big one up here because it's a little bit more awkward for him to trade into since he only currently has a four attack weapon. Kind of suck if he had like upgrade or Arcanite Reaper wouldn't feel too bad because he'd be wasting a lot of value here. But otherwise, he might have to trade a minion and the weapon in. Dread Corsair is such a strong play. This card is actually broken. I think it's too good. He's gonna kill our Houndmaster, I think, or maybe not. And actually, he probably shouldn't because he's got this giant Frothy Berserker. Yeah, this this card is actually just broken. Oh, he let me. He's gonna let me kill the the berserker. That's great news. Appreciate that. That's awesome. And we'll just play out the two best death rattle minions we have here because they're the you know the most threatening essentially. These guys suck, so we're fine. There's no graphic because it was a experiment in old gods. What do we mean, no graphic? I don't know what you guys mean. Oh, 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 no. Oh, I'm way behind chat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm so far behind. Wow. Yeah, there's no graphic on Forlorn Stalker. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm so just miserably far behind at this point. My God. Yeah, I, he had to. He had to. Have, he should have killed that uh, minion. That was crazy. I think we have to clear a little bit here just because we're not we're still going to be getting so much value back on our board that the trading is not an issue right um because we're going to be able to develop even more stuff i kind of wish i could squeeze in a hero power but i do want to get the loot hoarder out it might matter and uh we'll just trade into this stuff and, and we should be able to kill him in the next turn or two as long as we're not dead it's it's possible we're dead right like leroy heroic strike actually is not enough so we wouldn't be dead to that we have 6, 8, uh, 11, 13 damage, and he has uh, 18 health, presumably, if he, if he armors up at all. So let me catch up with chat. Waving at Fat says hello. A lot of haze. Well, hey, guys. Wow. Uh, hi, Regis. Tuning in on Twitch for the first time today from the UK. Love your YouTube vids. Appreciate it, Shad. That's awesome of you to say, man. So he didn't armor up. Does that give me a chance to win the game? I have uh, 5, 6, 9, 11, 12, 14 damage, and he has 16 health. Let's count again. 3, 6, 9, 11, 12, 14. We do not have it. Um, so I need like a taunt or lethal. So this might draw me kill command for lethal, for instance. Howlmaster is a taunt, which... Does this give me lethal, actually? No, I sacrificed two and I gained two. Uh, I can't play the Jewel Macaw, though. I have to play the Houndmaster or I'll just for sure be dead. So uh, This gives me the most health behind taunt, which is probably the best route here. We might still be dead to, like, Mortal Strike. There's a lot of stuff that kills me. If we had more board space, we maybe could have dug for lethal somehow. So we could be dead. It'd be sad, but... <laughs> Are we actually going to stabilize it to health? It's certainly possible. He, he doesn't have to have Mortal Strike, right? Uh, this might be more than enough. Wow. <laughs> we we would have gave it one health, and now we want to give it two health. <laughs> I guess we'll get it, win our next game at three health. That is nuts. All right, we're going to do the deck tracker. I'm, I'm going to put it on, I promise. Let's figure this out. It's always a little wonky setting it up, but uh, let's get the deck tracker rolling here. I'll catch up on... I'm actually going to skip a little bit of chat, guys. Sorry. Fardometer. 
<laughs> or fartometer, maybe. It says, hey, Regis, finally found your stream, and sorry about my name. Haven't used Twitch in ages. Hey, I love the name, dude. That's the best name yet. Like, you're, you're taking the cake for best name in chat. So don't, don't apologize for your name, good sir. Fartometer5000 is like, I wish that was my name, to tell you the truth. How dare you apologize for such an incredible name. All right, guys, I'm setting up the deck tracker here. You can't quite see what's uh -huh. going on, but I promise it's happening right now. Then I got to jump into a game, and then I'm going to have to, um, once the game is rolling, I can uh, kick off the thing here. Let me see. Let me see. You guys can't see this, but I can see it. So pop up that capturable window. Then I got to go add that window as a layer in my streaming thing. As you're going to see how the how the omelet's made, or whatever that phrase is. Uh, all right, so this is gonna be, well, let me let, let me get actually in the game first, I think, there we go. This is gonna be pink for a second, don't freak out. You guys always freak out when you see the pink. <laughs> that doesn't sound right, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> so now I gotta set this to, uh, da -da. boom, done. Deck tracker's live. I'm awesome. I, I didn't like the loot hoarder into the terror scale, but I am gonna keep the terror scale just on its own here to see how it goes. <sighs> Greetings from Greece, says Celotheus. Celotheus. I uh, really liked your YouTube videos and followed here. Keep up the good work. Oh, appreciate it, dude. I love the kind words like that. It means a lot. It really is encouraging, so. Regis, which is your favorite type of deck? Aggro, mid range, or control? Uh, probably just uh, control. I end up laddering with aggro for efficiency reasons, but it's definitely most fun to play control. Uh, could you try Kazakis Priest? I think I will be making a video on Kazakis Priest in the next couple days. So not today, but but soon. Uh, no commands. Yeah, that's right. But I've been streaming for 51 minutes as of this point for the people that asks. The people that asked. Get that word out. Whoa, Quest Shaman, and he did not have a Murloc on too? That's insane. Uh, I think I'll just coin out the rat back here. We've got the Forlorn Stalker, uh, if this lives. And, you know, it puts just as much on the board as the Loot Hoarder, so. And we have the turn four, too, so it's, we've, we've kind of got a smooth curve lining up. And I think this will survive against Murloc Shaman. I don't suspect it will die. My scavenging hyena is 18-6 right now. It can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. That sounds insane. Uh, this will give me value later just as much as this will. So let's just go ahead and get the stuff on the board here. We're getting 6-6 uh, six, six in total stats off this rat pack, it looks like, which is crazy for a 3-drop. Love it. It's working. Deck list, deck list. Nice, finally deck list. <laughs> That's great. Uh, hey Regis, I hit rank 2 with 3 stars today. It feels good, man. Probably going to hit Legend for the first time this month. That's awesome, Waving It Fat. We got a few people making their best climbs ever in the uh, Unguro meta, uh -huh. which is really exciting. That's awesome to hear. Congrats, dude. By the way, guys, we've had 80 people watching today. That's fantastic. Thanks for everybody swinging by. That's one of my higher ones ever, except for launch day of Unguro. I think we had more people. But beyond that, this is certainly one of the um, most watched streams so that's great news thanks for all the support i think we'll just play the forlorn stalker into the fiery bat here for curve considerations and clear what we can of the board and go face a little bit i can't believe we didn't get maelstrom portaled it's the first time in my life i can remember that ever happening uh does this need to die i guess so just because of flame tongue totem this is quite a monster board we've assembled jeez Turn four board like this is not bad. Take that back, it sucks. Do do Murloc Shamans run Lightning Storm, guys? Can somebody do a sanity check for me right now? <laughs> he he hasn't played a Murloc yet. <laughs> can, can somebody do <laughs> I need a sanity check right now. Hey bro, have you tried your hand at Tempo Warrior? I've played a lot of Tempo Warrior in the past, not necessarily lately. 
But uh, I like the deck a lot, and I just found a list from uh, Tice. It was actually in the Zoth Tempo Warrior, I think, that I want to try. I think it was not Tice. I don't remember for sure. But but yeah, at the end of the day, yes, I, I have, and I like it a lot. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play this giant high main and start pounding this guy in the face. Like These are really scary with Murloc War Leader, of course, but I don't have a way to deal with them anyway. I don't have an AoE or Unleash the Hounds or anything. So I think I just have to be the one with initiative here and um, and go for it. Yeah, I may be getting tricked, Hunter. You might be right. How do I open a pack? Asks Creflo Dollar Seven. I, that's an interesting question. Just go to your packs and hit the space bar and click. It's not too hard. A uh, herptologist says, hey, Regis, it's 4.45 a.m. here in Japan, but I'm an insomniac and a fan. That's awesome, dude. Don't stay up too late just for me. You can catch the VOD later. Just know that I said hello to you. Oh, God, that devolve. Oh, well, that worked out okay, I guess. Not not exactly as good as uh, the high main, but not the worst minion I've ever seen. This is considerably worse than our other guy, though. I'd love to get that back right away. Just go ahead and give me that back. It's no big deal. So this is not a beast. Can't Houndmaster that. This thing is super duper scary. Um, can't Deadly Shot it because there's just way too much stuff out there. I'm going to Jeweled Macaw, see what I get. I don't really love that. I, I'm going to Jeweled Macaw and see what I get. I'll probably end up playing a little off curve and hound mastering one of these and maybe making a trade with the uh, Grimscale Oracle here just because it's giving him so much value. I wish I could kill the tide caller, but I, I just can't right now. So let's see what we get here. Direwolf Alpha does allow me to kill the tide caller, but I, then I can't kill the Oracle. So I. He's only got two cards in hand. This can't get buffed that much. I think I'm actually just going to make this line and. Uh, do I want to buff the Hatchling? I don't really need. No, I don't need four attack. This is fine. I'm going to kill this one. I think it's worth more total damage. It, it you know, it was buffing four things, so it's worth four damage. This can only gain a total of three next turn, so at the end of the day, I think we'll be able to kill this a little bit later. He's at seven out of ten, so he might be able to activate it this turn. Probably not, though, based on how inconsistent his deck has been so far. He's running Jade Claws, Devolve, uh, Lightning Storm. This is like a Control Murloc Shaman. Uh, Wimpkey7 says, so seeing you on YouTube before, didn't know you streamed too. Well, you know, it's been a new adventure, Wimpkey. I, I just started streaming about three weeks ago, so you haven't missed much. You're still in the early days of the Regis stream. Regis, I know you said you didn't have a stream schedule yet, but do you have one planned for soon? I don't have one ready soon, but I am planning to have one ready soon, if that makes any sense at all. This is annoying. This, this guy's really annoying. That was a really good turn for him. He hexed a 3-3. A three, three is not particularly great, but I would just love to kill this Finja. I can take a 1 out of 3 shot on it. Like, I can trade here, trade here, and it's a 1 to 3rd chance. Or I could go face for 9-11 and just play minions. Put him at 6 He's not likely necessarily to pull out anything great, but he will definitely be able to play Megafin if if he gets this off. Because we know for a fact it will summon two Murlocs, and it's just summoned. He doesn't have to play him, so that'll put him at 10. He'll have the mana to play Megafin. So if we if we go face, we're kind of going all in, and we don't have kill commands right now to end the game. And we he'll probably have a full board of dudes, and I won't. So it's it's very risky to do that. I can play Loot Hoarder. I can play Guy and the Grandmother. I can still... Oh, my God. I think I'm going to lose the long game if I don't go face, like trading and stuff. So I think I'm just going to play as much of this out as I can. And, uh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna deadly shot anyway. I could hit a 1 out of 5 here that's just, like, ridiculously insane. No, we, we, we whiffed instead. Might seem a little bit inconsistent, but I just wanted to utilize as much mana as possible. Theoretically, the second half of this might live because he only has four things that can attack on board. Or maybe we're just dead. There's also that route. No, that's one off. That's one off. Wait a second. That's one off. Surely he has an answer, Jade Claws or something, right? 
Because now if he attacks a minion, he summons two murlocs, but what if they were like war leaders that would have buffed these? It seems like he thought he had lethal, but he's one off. He already attacked with this, right? Yeah, this gets buffed. He could have guaranteed that this got two more attack. This this feels like a misplay a little bit. This feels like a misplay. <laughs> Finish your package and call on the finishers in a control jade deck. It does indeed seem that way. Uh, well, neither of those would have actually given him lethal. But he he also spent too much mana so that now he can't play... He can't play Mega Finn. Unless he's trolling me and somehow has six damage in hand. He doesn't. He just threw the game. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so... I don't know that he actually had lethal anyway, because he could have buffed this by two for sure. And actually, he could have played Megafin to buff it by three. I don't think he had lethal if he wanted to use the Finja to summon dudes. And to summon dudes is the only way to buff it. So I don't think he had lethal, but he would have been in a winning position if he just cleared my board and played the Megafin. Like, he would have won that game. So clearly, a, a little bit of a failure there. But are we 3 0 so far, guys, or am I crazy? I think we're 3-0 with my Death Rattle Nazoth Hunter, even though we haven't seen a control deck or Nazoth. We're actually just outplaying... We're actually just outplaying kind of fast decks, which is a little bit surprising to me, but we've gotten some good value. Julon5 says, Good evening, Regis. I enjoy your content so much, but sadly I'm from Germany, and thus you are always starting your stream when it is at the middle of the night for me. But whatever, happy to catch you while being alive, and greetings, my friend. Sorry, Julon, time zones suck. I wish the whole world would just go to one universal time zone. Who cares if you work at 3 a.m. in the morning? 3 a.m. is just a title. It means nothing. So you could just, you know, shift everybody's time zone to one thing, and people could just adjust, get up at daylight or whatever, and it'd be totally fine. Nobody would care. But instead, we're stuck with silly time zones. I guess it wouldn't matter, though, since it'd still be nighttime there, and you'd still probably be sleepy. So it doesn't really matter if it's time zones or not, I guess, at the end of the day. It's probably just going to never work out that well for us. Uh, Majnar says, finally able to catch a stream, been so busy with sports. I think that probably means you're playing sports, Majnar. What sports do you play? I'm very curious. You, you piqued my interest, good sir. Uh, Funny Bunny 14 says, first time here, I've watched like all of Regis' videos. Well, thanks for the support, dude. That's incredible. I've posted like 500 videos. So if you watch all of them, you're certainly an all-star. That's incredible. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and Volcanic Might this to, to trade into that minion. I don't know what this guy's deck is about yet, but I do like killing minions. Uh, and Wind Fury means it's just going to die to the trade. Or if it does, I have to sacrifice this other Fiery Bat, which I don't want to do. So let's just get dudes out, right? Like, let's just play our guys. This is a totally dead card right now. But it was dead as well the previous turn, so Crackling Razor Mall just made the most sense to me. Uh, not Consecration. Okay, cool. Whoa. Whoa, though. That's still really surprising to see. Um, I guess I'll buff this one for awkwardness's sake. Like, I'm not going to trade into that. And I don't want to buff something to, like, four health, right? That'd just be really easy for him to trade into. So we'll make it a little bit more awkward and hope he doesn't have, like, True Silver or Hammer of Wrath or some weird card. And I think I'm just going to start doing damage. Like, we have Kill Command in hand. We have five, seven damage in hand next turn. He might just be dead. Uh, Elder Peacekeeper helps him stay alive, I think. That's seven. We're going to have... Oh, man. I think we're one-off lethal, guys. Uh, this is six, seven, plus seven. It's 14. Uh, do I just put him on the heel here, or do I try to play minions? I guess I play minions, because these are likely to stick around to some extent. Consecration would be pretty brutal, but we'd still have the Kill Command Hero Power next turn, too. Uh, and let me just double check. 6, 7, 9, 14. Yeah, we were one off, which is crazy. Play those in the right order, of course, to buff this. It may not matter, but it might. Consecration clears the board anyway, but uh, that puts me with still 7 damage in hand. This could actually kill him, perhaps. Hit face. We got a 1 in 3 chance to win the game right here. Hit face. <laughs> oh no, we don't have a beast! 
No! We don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. Crap! We still gotta play... We still gotta play, um... We gotta play minions for a turn or two. Hopefully he doesn't find a way to heal in the meantime. He may not be thinking about... He's probably thinking about it. Oh, man, the fact that we didn't have a bee sucks. I forgot about that. That was a... Cr so instead, actually, we kind of wish that the Death Rattle had rolled into the Elder Peacekeeper, I think. Oh, no! This is where we lose! <laughs> be a secret! Be a secret! Be a secret! Be three secrets! We need him to be at uh, seven or less health. Oh, my God. He's just out of range. We still have a chance here to stabilize. Oh, this hand is so awkward. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to play this as a body and uh, hero power here. We could have adapted it, but I want to save this to activate my kill commit. Because I'm still next turn lethal if this lines up correctly. So, we got to be careful here. Uh, TM45, I did see the link to your uh, crazy, crazy uh, hyena. That was nuts. I've been here since the first stream. You indeed have, Hunter. Thanks for the support as always, dude. Oh, cool. We have, uh, have lethal. Cool. So we played it right. We have the mana. Yay! Gambled a little bit there because he could have had more heal, but I think it was our best out to win the game. So, Man, we're flying with this deck so far. It's crazy. I think it's just mid-range hunter, though. I don't know that it's death rattles. We've had a couple big death rattles turns, but that's it. Uh, K. Riku says, Computer slowly dying and Twitch gets stuck every couple minutes. Been staring at a black stream with a circle in the middle for the last two minutes. Quality entertainment. Well, if you could hear my voice, I'd try to talk you through it. But if not, I'm so sorry. What's up with the pizza thing? I don't know what this is. Why are we, why are we asking about pizza? You got 11 votes in your pizza poll. I'm surprised. Of Twitch chat, 11 people voted. So, good on you, I guess. Um, we have the 1-2. I may actually just drop the Macaw here for a, a later curved play. Because this is such a good 1-2. And this will almost certainly live. Since we're playing first. He might play like a... <clears throat> a North Shore Cleric into it or something. But I doubt he kills it. Uh, Shed121 asks, Regis, of all the Enguro decks you've experimented with so far, which has been the most fun to play and which has been the most effective? Uh, most effective for me was definitely Taunt Warrior a little bit earlier in the expansion. Most fun has been Lyra Priest shenanigans. So I've kind of been running my own version, but there's a lot of Lyra Priest decks out there. Uh, Regis, you know you can edit deck tracker settings so it shows your win rate with certain decks. Uh, also, the total damage each player has, it helps avoid messy math errors like that. I don't think I've seen the setting for total damage, but that almost feels just like a little bit too far. Like, I don't know. This is a tough choice. I mean, Rocky Carapace makes sense making a 2-4. dies like Shadow Word Pain, but we have a lot of good Shadow Word Pain targets, so I don't know that that's the concern so much. Volcanic Might is also fine. But then we'd have to just three twos out. Two, three twos out. I don't think Poisonous is going to matter. I think I'm just going to go for the health. I think it might survive. We'll see. We have a Terror Scale Stalker, but it's not that exciting on Fiery Bat. Uh, we might actually just crack the Razor Ball this again. Play this the next turn. Depends on what we draw and what curve we have. TM45 says, I know, but he's winning because it's just a mid-range Hunter. I kind of think so, too. I kind of think so, too. How to get a lot of dust? I already wasted all my dust from the rotation. There's not like a great way to get a ton of dust, unfortunately. I don't. I just don't think I can play this for a ping. I think I'm just gonna raise them all to develop the board. And we'll play it on this. We want a three five or a five four. I guess a five four. If you shadow where death's it, we still have six damage on the board, and it's just pressuring him a lot. So. We might just win this game with kills again. Just death, just mid-range hunter stuff, it looks like. Oh, he might have trouble. Our deck's a little weird. He doesn't know that we're a death rattle deck yet. 
So he might have trouble with this. No, he got it. He picked it. He must have got like high main or something easy. Um, yeah, we'll play on curve. I'll kill that and go face for eight. Do I need to kill it? That's debatable, isn't it? That's debatable. He still has the coin, so Holy Nova is something to think about. I guess I'll kill it. Eight to face is probably enough. We have uh, 11 showing, so we have more than enough to get lethal next turn. Probably going to stick beast. If he, even if he shadow were deaths, I think we're still going to have lethal, so. That's just so slow, dude. This deck is so slow. What is this guy's deck? He got both right, though. Good on him. We don't have the easiest list to predict. Uh, is that going to be enough? I don't think it is. Let's see. 8, 11, 16. 17 damage? 18 damage? 8, 11, plus 5 is 16, 18 damage. I think he's just dead. Yeah, so we're 5 and 0, is that right? 5 and 0, is this real? Uh, what level are you in WoW? Were you just <laughs> level 110? <laughs> uh, my max eye level right now is probably like 903. I, I play a little bit less for the best actual gear, but I think I can get to like 903 or 904, something like that. <clears throat> uh, Bulric DH says, Hey Regis, great content. Really love your budget decks, especially the Shaman ones. Have you seen Jackie Chan's Murloc Bloodlust Shaman? It would make an excellent deck highlight video. Uh, maybe I have. I'm not sure. It sounds familiar. I don't remember the exact list, but I agree. That sounds like it would make an awesome... Uh, that sounds like it'd make a great deck experiment video, so I'll have to check that out. I like Jackie Chan stuff a lot in particular. He's a good good player and a really creative deck builder, too. Uh, will you make more budget decks? They really help free-to-play players like me. Yes, I will, in fact. Uh, I haven't finished them all yet, but they're going to be... Uh, I'm going to do one for every class. Everyone's going to get an ungrow budget deck. So there's, I think, four done right now. One's almost ready to go, and then there'll be four more to come after that. <clears throat> just showed up after watching the Cavs sweep the first round. Sorry, we just the Cavs take precedent over you. Well, I mean, come on, dude. It's LeBron. Like, who are you going to watch, Kyrie and LeBron or me? Like, Kyrie and LeBron. I don't blame you, dude. I'm an NBA fan, too, so uh, no... No hard feelings here, of course. Go watch the uh, unbelievable athletes do their crazy stuff. Best deck experiment so far, right? Well, in a way, but also sort of a bit of a failure because we haven't really got to test what we want to with, like, Terra Scale Soccer. I think we're just playing a good mid-range hunter deck right now, weirdly enough. Uh, this card has really disrupted my plans, though. I think I'm just going to uh, play this and see what we get. Might coin out the Fiery Bat. Uh, maybe even coin out the Alley Cat. Maybe just... I'm just going to coin out the Fiery Bat. This trade... He's going to get to heal and, and draw a card. It's fine, whatever. We'll play the Kindly Grandmother. We, we just got an awkward hand right now. And that's such a good card against what I'm trying to do. Hey, Regis, I'm working on Arena Run right now. Hoping I can make five wins. Yeah, good luck, dude. That's uh, five's a nice number. Seven would be really amazing, so get out there and pick some good cards. <laughs> Stream title wise uh, should be not experimenting, just playing mid range hunter. Yeah, so far, you're absolutely right. So we're still tossing a ton of value at this stupid North Star cleric, but what can I do? I have to play minions. Uh, hopefully we can just weed it, weedle it down. Weedle? I don't know if that's a word, but... Kind of break through it eventually, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Pretty clutch Cabal Town Priest here. Uh, we'll play the Infested... Well, we can't play the Infested Wolf next turn. I need a 2-drop. I need a uh, Crackling Razor Maw stat. Nope. So yeah, we're in, a, we're in a rough spot here, basically. This looks like our first loss, boys. The Northshire Cleric shut us down completely. Like, we still have value plays in the Zoth, so we can get out of this game and win. Uh, it's certainly possible to still win this game. It's just we're not going to fly through it like the rest. This might actually be the first case where we get to test uh, our death rattle efficiencies and stuff. Uh, Regis, did you play basketball when you were younger, says Majnar. I did, in fact. Yeah, I played uh, 
like little league basketball, I guess you'd call it, at my local small town. And then I also played for the junior high and high school, like school official teams, like varsity teams. Uh, I'm like six three, so was fairly tall in my small town. So as a post player, uh, not particularly skilled, just good enough to make the cut, like sixth man on varsity kind of thing. Like uh, nothing too fancy. But yeah, I, I played. I enjoyed it. I preferred tennis though, as my primary sport. Where are all the Bucks fans at? <laughs> There's not very many, dude. I think they're in Milwaukee. Uh, since you think well of Taunt Warriors, says Moo333, what do you think of the Warrior deck from this week's Tavern Brawl? I didn't play the Warrior deck. I just played, um, what did I end up playing? I forget. Priest, I think. I just played it once, and that's it. I haven't I haven't done the Warrior, the, uh, the pre-built deck, so I don't know. Weedle is a Pokemon. Please bless my one on Guru pack, says we check, and certainly that's no problem. Oh, I got to hit in turn, guys. That's no problem at all. We check. Your, your pack has hereby been blessed. Go out there and open a nice new shiny orange. <laughs> Weedle, it's not a word, but it is a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Cavs repeat in 2017. Warriors is going to be tough, though. Man, don't sleep on the Spurs. Don't sleep on the Spurs, dude. I'm not even a Spurs fan, but I got a feeling. Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan here. So different kind of buck altogether. 6'3", <laughs> Anna Sexy Beard, have my babies, please. <laughs> I don't think I can have babies. I'm not sure how that works. I don't think that works. My body doesn't support that functionality. So this sucks. Like, we can't really take this trade. Can't do anything with a Dracodid operative. We just kind of got to rely on these high mains at this point, I think. Thank God Entomb is not a card anymore. So at least if he Shadow Word Deaths or something, or... Dragonfire potions or whatever. We're still probably going to get some sort of value out of these high mains. Even if it's not board value, it might just be tempo value where we slow him down a little bit for an eventual Nazoth. And I think based on how many death trials we played, Nazoth is going to give me two high mains. So, so honestly, uh, kind of sussing out the Dragonfire potion may not be a bad idea. Just because it could cripple our Nazoth. <sighs> of course that's what the card he plays. That's not our card, that's your card. I'm still going to go on curve here. It sucks that I can't trade into that operative and he's going to get to heal. I uh, could have maybe Razor Maud in Infested Wolves, but I think I just have to get these, these high mains out to get value on the board. I need the max amount of stats. You think Memphis will take the Spurs in seven? I don't want to talk too much basketball, but I think that's the craziest idea I've ever heard. But I'd love to see it. That'd be awesome. Memphis is the closest regional NBA team to me, I think, probably. So, I don't hate Memphis. The beard itself can have babies, 100% guaranteed. I'm going to have to talk to the girlfriend about that. She she might like that idea. Beardisty. <laughs> Open Calamus in a pack yesterday. Is Elemental Shaman a good enough deck, or should I just get the dust for it? It's a pretty good deck. I mean, it's not enough the best deck right now, but it's good enough to, to keep Calamos, that's for sure. He's a good card. Like I said, just going to play on Curve here. We actually got some value there trading, which was nice since he did want to play both his Death and his um, Twilight Drake. So we're catching up a little bit here, surprisingly. Like, we have enough of these high mains to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. If we could hit, like, a Terra Scale on one, we'd be in a great spot. What's he looking for here? Dragonfire Potions, Trade, Clear. That's not that good, though, because he has a good minion out, too, right now that dies to Dragonfire Potions, so... Is it worth it to run weapon removal now? Asks Bam Bam. Ah, uh, that's a tough question, dude. That's a question I've been uh, struggling with as well, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure what the answer is either. Um, there's pirates. There's some shamans who run it. But a lot of the, the best decks right now don't run weapons that matter that much. So, I, I don't know. I haven't seen it a lot. But there's definitely a case for it sometimes. Maybe it just depends on your rank. Regis is the god of beards. <laughs> no, dude, there's some good beards out there. I like my beard just fine, but um, there's some there's some awfully good beards out there. So, ooh, just a hair late on that. Uh, we could throw down the infested wolf and crack a maw it, I guess. Maybe just kill some of this junk. Trade into the high main. Trade into one of the smaller dudes. I'm fine with this line. I hope this doesn't put me over too many death rattles because I do want the Nazoth to hit the high mains. Uh, taunt doesn't really matter. Plus one, plus one. 
sort of matters. It, it helps it trade into the Twilight Drake a little bit, but he's going to heal the Twilight Drake, so it may not help that much. Uh, stealth doesn't really accomplish anything, though, except maybe helping me hit it with a Hoohoran, but I can Kindly Grandmother anyway with Hoohoran, and I'd probably like that better, so I don't really care about that. So I think we'll just go ahead and take the plus one, plus one. It's Like I said, it's not perfect, but it's probably fine. I think... The best news here, I guess I'll play this even if it means the failed Hooveron. I don't care. It's better than a hero power. The best news is that we're still at 30 health and still having the Zoth in hand. So, like, there's still ways for me to win this game, which is pretty chill. I think he'll just, like, full clear here or try to full clear. He'll leave some 1-1s one -ones behind, I suspect, but... RNG's is <laughs> birth Regis a baby with a beard. Yeah, you guys, um... You guys, uh, you don't know this, but all my baby photos have, like, a full red beard. Legendary beard right off the bat. A bronze beard. <laughs> God, th these are some great... <laughs> when Iron Jesus put Regis on this earth, he blessed his beard with the majesty of the dwarves and the height of the gods. <laughs> so I'm tall, but also have a dwarven beard. You're right. That's pretty cool. That's, that's actually hilarious. Uh, you should make a Regis Kilba logo. It'd be like a black and white silhouette with a beard and goatee in black. Well, I do have a Regis Kilbin logo, but it's actually Regis Kilbin. Not, uh, not a cool beard logo, which also sounds cool. Alright, so we're going to get like the double punch here. It's pretty awesome. I'm actually going to have too many minions out, though, which could be an issue. Maybe I'll just elicit like a Dragonfire Potion. That'd be fine. So wait, how many min this is going to give me, this is going to put me at seven minions. Aha. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to burn, I'm going to burn a minion here. I'm, I'm not, both of these won't summon. What are you going to do? Too much value. So I think we'll see Dragonfire Potion here. I think we'll see face, face, uh, Dragonfire. Which means I can play this off on a clean board. No, he's trading. Holy Nova, it's Holy Nova. That's fine too. Just as long... Oh, Portal Drake. That's fine. Of course. No Holy Nova. That's totally fine. So now I get to the Zoth free and clear, which is good. Little does he know I actually wanted all those to die. So... Boop! High mains? Yeah, both high mains. Cool. It worked out pretty nicely. Alright, so this is like... Obviously, we're all in at this point. Like, This is where we either win the game or we lose the game. If he has some sort of answer to this. Dragonfire Potion like, kind of works on it. I mean... It clears some death rattles, but there's still stuff left on the board. He's looking for Dragonfire Potion, I think. That's Dragonfire Potion, no doubt. He needs, like, trade in and Azoth. Not sure what gets summoned here, because my board was kind of full. I guess everything comes back? Yeah, everything came back, I think, that was supposed to. Maybe we burned one guy? Not sure. Still, not a bad board at the end of the day. I mean, we need like a kill command to get through this guy. Uh, this is absolutely useless right now. So we can do 5, 7, 8. Leaves me with 5 damage on board. I guess I'm going to play both of these, even though they don't get value, just because there are a lot of stats on the board. And we just saw him use both the Primordial Drake and Dragonfire Potion. So he may not have an answer to this board. Like, it's I know it's all in, but I, I don't have time to wait. I gotta win the game. We don't have any, like, recovery after Nazoth, right? He had a pretty good Nazoth answer turn. So what do I do? Yeah, that's just game. That's just game. Too much removal there. I just There's no way I'm going to be able to chip him down in time now. There's no cards in the deck, like... I guess. Yeah, two Dragonfire Potions sucks. It's because he discovered one. That's why Shadow Visions is such an insanely good card. It's just ridiculously good. I like it. It's awesome. Uh, blue my 6 MBD. Or no, not Blue my. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Bluey, excuse me. <laughs> uh, I've opened two Legendaries in my Grow Packs. The Warlock Quest and the Druid Quest. What should I do with them? Disenchant. Maybe so, Bluey. They're not... Appearing to be the strongest cards in the set, so I don't know that you're going to get a ton of value from them, but... 
Ugh. Yeah, we're, I'm going to play this out. The game is over. I mean, we're, we're not going to be able to stabilize, especially not with the least kind of value coming through. We just, this is an easy loss at this point. We're just going to play it out for fun. Um, Nazoth is going to be super food. Yeah, seems that way. Have an outline of your beard on a black t-shirt. Yeah, it's I like it. I mean, I'll probably do some beard stuff. <laughs> you guys can't start Chuck Norris jokes. I Chuck Norris jokes were like the greatest thing that ever happened when they first came out or when I first saw them. I was in college. We had so much fun with Chuck Norris jokes. It was insane. <laughs> I'm off to Photoshop some babies with beards and gods making Regis. Well, I, I can't wait to see that. That's... If you do legitimately do that, you have to tweet it at me. Of course, you'll get a, a retweet. That sounds incredible. Um, hey there, don't be scared. My name is Ben Broad. I read a thread on Reddit and it said that I should sing an ode because our cinematic didn't have a song. Oh my god, we can't do we can't do the Ben Broad song, guys. Um, just in case it matters, let's see what we draw. Barnes into some sort of miracle. Oh good, I get to hit my face for extra damage. Awesome. Yay. Oh, but my face isn't cut. Oh, it is. I always cover my face accidentally, guys, with the deck list. Let me fix that. Uh, there we go. Yay. That did it. That did the trick. Alright, so, honestly, I think I'm actually going to call it on the Death Rattle Hunter there. And there you have it. That was my Death Rattle on Guru Hunter. Pretty cool little deck, actually. Found quite a bit of success, even if the Death Rattle stuff didn't necessarily drive that success. Still, it didn't seem like a bad or broken deck. It seemed fairly good. So all that said, if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions on this deck, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on.